Hi, Natasha here. We're gonna get into this kettlebell boot camp class. Let's take a deep breath, inhale up, palms to heart center. Inhale, stretch up, reach through the side body, exhale, squat down. Inhale, reach up, exhale, squat. Inhale, reach, take a little side bend, grab one wrist, gaze up, stack the shoulders, switch sides, gentle side bend. Fold halfway down and do that a few times. Inhale up, exhale, half fold. Inhale up, send the tailbone back, head forward, belly in. Release it to forward fold. Just hang out, let the head hang heavy, shift the hips, bend and straighten the knees. You can flip the palms upside down and then put your fists down. See if you can push the shoulders down and lift the hips, engaging the core. Maybe some toe taps here. Tap your wrist if you can by leaning into the hands. And then bring your hands onto a prop or just a down dog on the mat. And we'll take a plank, swing the hips forward to upward facing dog, heart shines through. Exhale, down dog. Roll forward to plank, swing the hips through, shine the heart forward, gazes up, up dog, and downward facing dog. We'll do that again. Take it forward, roll to plank, swing the hips through, upward facing, and take it down to the knees. All right, we'll come into all fours for some cat-cow. Inhale, lift head, chest, and tailbone. Exhale, round the spine, and then any movements here, wiggling, rolling sideways, loosen through the spine. Sit back on the heels, on the toes. Swing the arms around, so just lubricating the shoulder joint. Circles back and forward, and then swing, crisscross. All right, we're gonna go for it. I'm gonna pick up the kettlebell and start with deadlifts. 10 deadlifts, flat back, belly in. If you can, you'll reach down all the way and then drive it up. So we're, the knees will be soft, but it's not a squat. So mostly straight, flat back, gaze ahead. No need to count, I'll be counting 10 of most of the reps here. So we have 10 deadlifts, and then we're gonna go into high pulls. So start to just drive the elbows up and out. 10 times, right up the body like you're zipping up a sweatshirt. Down, zip it up. Elbows out high. Almost like you're making a V with the elbows and the kettlebell. Now swings, 10 swings. So deadlifts, high pulls, swings, 10 of each. Dip and thrust. The, the back stays straight. We don't round down. The chest stays lifted. It's just a little dip and a hip thrust powering through the legs. After this, we're going into single arms. Here we go, single arm, right, left. So you just switch at the top of the swing. Alternating, lifting. So we'll do this 10 of everything and we're going to repeat this same circuit. This is your warm up. Swing it up, switch, and release. All right, take a moment, walk it out. I'm gonna take off my rings. <laughs> And just take some breaths here. You can take a little shuffle in place. Keep the heart rate up. Take some deep breaths and we'll do that same round again. So it's deadlifts to start. 10 deadlifts, flat back, gaze ahead, heart forward, booty back, squeeze to rise. Moving into your high pulls, 10. Here's nine. Drive it right up the body. Elbows shine high, flat back. Exhale at the top. Power up through the hips. Good. Then we start to swing into your swings. So we'll dip and thrust the hips, swing the bell. Almost like you're trying to throw it and there's a moment at the top where it hits that point and then you drop down. So go to where it feels good in your body. If you have a heavier bell, sometimes the swing is lower. I'm using 20 pounds here. Single arm, so we'll switch out right to left. Just toss it and switch at the top of the swing. Again, we don't drop the head, we don't drop the chest. All happens from the hamstrings, the glutes, and the core. 
All right, set that down. The next one we're gonna step onto a prop. So if you have a chair, a couch, a bench, step stool, little shuffle again, swing out those arms. We're gonna take a squat to a step up in just a moment here. So pick up that weight and then rack it in both hands, holding at the bottom of the handle, elbows in. Squat, step up, right, left, and down. Squat, elbows hit, thighs, left, right, down. So one squat and one step up. See if you can go as deep as you can and those elbows should hit the quads. Step all the way onto your prop, heels to the middle, so we're not hanging off the edge. Flat back, strong core to get you through this. Sit back and to protect your back. Nice work, keep it up, squat, step up. The higher your prop is, the harder the step up is. Heart rate's gonna climb here. Nice work, put it down. All right, little toy soldier, toe tap in the middle. Forward fold, shake it out. So if you have a bench, we're gonna use it, but you can absolutely do this on the floor. We're gonna take a little Pilates style roll. So we'll push the weight over the head and we'll roll down the spine using your abs. Then we're gonna step the feet up or just take the weight down and bridge up, feet down, push up, and then roll up, tricep dip. All right, so roll down. You'll take a bridge and then another lift. So it's two chest presses and roll. Tricep dip at the top, roll back. If you're on the floor, you're just gonna do one bridge and then one chest press. If you're on the step, you'll have to step your feet on top. Chest press, bridge, chest press, rise, tricep dip. Pull the belly in, roll down the spine, bridge chest press, chest press, roll up, tricep dip. We're doing 10 of everything pretty much. Just stay with me if you lose some reps, no big deal. Tricep dip at the top, elbows high, bring that weight behind the head. You can be using a dumbbell, of course, if you don't have a kettlebell. And I'm mostly using my 20, and then for some things I picked up my 15. Two chest press, roll up, tricep dip. Roll down slowly, bridge up. Arms up, push, drive it up. Use the lats, the shoulders, your core. Push through the chest when you're pressing. Awesome. Set that weight down. Take a little moment. You can get rid of your bench. We only were using it for those two exercises. All right, pick up your kettlebell. We're gonna flip it upside down and do a halo into a good morning. So we're gonna circle around the head, place it at the meaty part of the back, and then take a half fold circle. So we'll circle it around and then halfway fold stand circle same way so we complete the circle after the good morning halfway fold make sense circle halfway elbows high flat back half fold come around make that circle complete it after the forward fold so that half halo good morning half fold finish up the halo half halo flat back use the core the back body and keep it up Feel the triceps, good, the core, wrap it around. So you can set that bell right at the traps or in between the shoulders. It depends on how big your kettlebell is. Shake it out. We're gonna do little knee taps, twisting knees, just a few reps in between. All right, we're gonna pick up the kettlebell and sit on the floor for Russian twist. So right, left is one, so 20 total. Keep going side to side. If you need a modification, put the feet down. Otherwise, 
keep those legs up and twist. See if you can get the kettlebell all the way around from hip to hip. Exhale each one. All right. Come to standing. Take a quick stretch in the chest. Going into snatches. So if you're not familiar with snatches, I do have a demo kettlebell class you can look at. Um, or you could just do a high pull for right now. So you'll swing, that's your high pull example. Um, otherwise, we're gonna swing the elbow up and then kind of punch the fist towards the sky. We don't wanna slam the weight down, so we'll swing it behind and it kind of rolls around the wrist. 10, right, exhale, swing it around. So if you've never done this before, this one's a little tricky, but once you get it, it's super fun. When I was first learning, I did bruise my wrist quite a bit. <laughs> and then we'll switch sides. So now the left hand, 10 snatches, kind of wraps around. It's like this quick high pull punch. Power comes from the hips. Nice, all right. Take a little rest if you need it. You can always pause this video if you need more time than I'm giving you. I'm gonna take little plank walks in between. So walk out one push up, plank walk back to your toes. Do that five times, crawl out, one push up, crawl in, Touch your toes. You can flip the wrists upside down when you get back for a quick counter stretch. So walk, 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 flip, walk forward, push up. <laughs> Kitty cats, walk back, flip your wrists, walk forward, one push up. Keep that core engaged and roll yourself up. All right, so we're gonna pick up the kettlebell and we're gonna go into windmills. So you're gonna windmill, right hand, Rack and press, windmill, turn your toes. One windmill into one squat press. So your toes turn forward for the squat press and then they turn the direction you're going for the windmill. It's almost like a triangle in yoga, like a mini triangle. And you only go as low as your hamstrings allow. So if you can't touch the ground, that's totally fine. You don't have to go that low. It could be a smaller side bend, squat, push press. Side bend, use your obliques, your hamstrings, and then drive it up from your legs to your shoulders. If your kettlebell starts to sag, like your elbow starts to sag, maybe it's too heavy for you, and just set it down or pick up something lighter. Squat, press. When you rack the squat to press, bring that thumb towards the middle of the chest, and then we'll go into the other side. So take a moment if you need some water. and we'll go to the left side. Rack and press, turn your toes the direction you're going. Lats strong, shoulders strong, side bend, squat, push press. Turn your toes, so you have to make that little adjustment in the feet. Turn, hips go the other way, squat and press. So some people like to look up at the kettlebell when they're doing that um, side bend windmill so that you are making sure you're stacking through the ribs and hips so that if that alignment feels good for you you can or if that's hard on the neck just look down but make sure you're stacking the shoulders turning those toes the direction you're going using your breath exhale up squat exhale up driving from the shoulder the core nice work All right, next up are lunges. So we're gonna walk it out, pick up the kettlebell again, and we're gonna pass the kettlebell under the leg. So you'll step back and then you'll grab it with the other hand 10 times. And this lunge, you do a little half fold or 45 degree angle fold, just so you have the space to clear under the front leg. And then the next set is gonna be suitcase swings or suitcase lunges. And this one's a little tricky. If the kettlebell's in the right hand, the left leg swings back. So make sure you get the pattern. Right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. 
alternate. If you have it down, it makes a lot of sense and it feels great. It's a super strong one for the obliques and the core and of course the legs. So 10 of those. If you need to pause this and figure out if you're doing it right, go ahead and do that. Remember, it's opposite arm and leg, go back. All right, so that was 10, and we're just gonna jump rope in place a little bit before our next exercise. Great work. Go ahead and walk it out and pick up your kettlebell. We're gonna do a half Turkish get up. So we're gonna rack and press on our knees, lean sideways, arm down, thread the leg through. So take your foot out 45 degrees, lean, hand down, or weight up, and then thread the leg through and back, rack. Side lean, hand down, weight up, thread the leg through and back on the knee. So you gotta be really strong in your shoulder and your core so you're not heavy and you can just slide the leg through and back, no problem. So it's a strong side plank, step through, come back, rack, lean, shoulder to knee, hand down, leg through, come back. Nice and soft on the knees, we'll switch sides. Rack and press, up his other knee, goes out, shoulder to knee, hand down, leg threads through that open space, Come down softly on the knee, rack and lean, push press, land on the hands, and then step through. Oops, <laughs> I kind of fell through that one. So it's okay if you fall onto your bottom, but try to keep it strong and lifted. Knee down, rack, side lean, hand down, arm up, thread through. Keep that core really strong, total body movement here. Awesome. We're gonna come onto our back, set your kettlebell to the side and just do 10 V up sit ups. If you need a modification, just tuck the knees, bend them in if you need to. Otherwise, keep the arms and leg long and reach up. You can use momentum here, just pull the belly in and reach up. Legs and arms, tap the toes. Exhale as you drive it up. All right, we're gonna pick up the kettlebell. This one is a pistol squat down and a squat up. Try it, you might surprise yourself. The weight acts as a counterbalance. Step on your feet and then drive up through the legs. Strong core to protect the back, especially since it's a little bit rounded at the start of the squat. If this doesn't work for you, just go ahead and come down to a chair or your couch and you'll just shorten the range. Nice and slow. Pistol squat to the mat, and then you step on both feet and squat your way up to the top. Your biceps are on the whole time with your weight at the rack at your chest, and it can go a little bit out just to make space, and then drive it in. Leg, lift the leg, use your hip flexors, your quad, your core. Slow down, slow to rise. Awesome, nice work. We'll take a moment and then we're gonna go into full range Turkish get-ups. You might set your weight down on this one if it's too much or you're gonna rack, hold that arm over the head. The opposite foot steps back, hand reaches down. We thread through, roll down using your abdominals, Curl, roll up, step on the hand, thread the leg back, lunge your way up to standing. We're gonna do five per side. If you've never done them before, again, I have a video that breaks down kettlebell moves. Um, typically, you hold a kettlebell at the top, but you could really do this with a little dumbbell or no weight at all. If your elbow starts to sag, definitely just put the weight down and try these with, with no weight. Just lift the arm, step back, Arm down, leg through, roll down using your abdominals, roll up, step on the hand, leg threads back, straight spine, come back to standing. One more time on this foot. Good 
good. So we're gonna do 10 with the left arm over the head. And again, feel free to not use a weight here and just go through them without, or maybe you do less reps than me or more. Just listen to your body, see what, see what you have left in the tank. So we'll rack and press. Remember to keep the lats, the side body, the shoulder really actively pressing up. Opposite arm comes down, thread the leg through, roll back. Exhale to rise, press on the hand. Lift the hips, step the knee back and step together. Lunge, hand down, leg through. Roll down, exhale, roll up. Step on the hand, leg threads back, come up with a lunge, step together. And we're doing five per side, so 10 total, if you can. Big finale with the kettlebell. One more, that's me celebrating. <laughs> Roll back. Exhale to rise, step back, stand up. Set that kettlebell down. We're gonna come onto our mat. Go ahead and lay on your back. This time we'll do the V ups with single alternating legs and reach for the toe tap. Here we go, tap it up, alternating hand to toes, exhale and rise. Again, you could bend the knee if you need a modification. Exhale, reach it up, drive it up. Little momentum from the arms is all good. And release. We're gonna take a low boat hold, hollow body, and then rock your boat side to side. Rocking on the sacrum, that low back is pressing down and we're just twisting the body. And then we're gonna take a knee tuck. So it's a little single leg stretch while you're rocking and your elbows kind of stop you from falling over. So press the elbow down into the mat, tuck the knee to nose. Exhale, knee to nose as you twist. We're gonna come onto our side, go ahead and Stack your hips, stack your shoulders. Top arm is gonna press, bottom arm, and then leg lift, abduction, come down. We're crawling up. Top arm, bottom arm, leg lift, come down. So you come up to like a modified side plank. And you'll feel this in the triceps. Get the side body, the abductors on the outer thigh. Core has to be engaged. Press, press, lift, side kick, come down. About 45 degrees if you can make this little star shape and then come down, top arm, bottom arm, lift and come on down. Keep it going, 10 reps. Step, keep your hips and shoulders stacked. Hold this last one, side plank, full side plank. Step on the feet and then if you can, you can take this little top leg extension. See if you can hold it, extend, and then step it into a lunge. Hold this lunge, shine the heart and gaze forward, and then straighten the legs, bend back. I'm gonna shift into the side lunge, Skandasana, from side to side a few times. Exhale. And then lunge the other way and come down to your side body for the next set. So we'll lay on our side, stack the shoulders, stack the hips, top arm presses, bottom arm, and leg extension in your modified side plank. Keep pressing through these, same thing. This is our last exercise. Top arm, bottom arm, leg lift, come on down. So you're climbing, climbing extension at the top. Walk, lift walk lower. Make that nice pretty star at the top. Hand down, side lay. Come down gently, engage all the muscles here. Arms are working hard, core, outer thighs. Walk, walk, expand. Hold this last one and then we'll step into side plank. 
take a breath here. Lift the hips high, push the shoulder down strongly. See if you can lift the top leg, even if you can't grab it, just lift it. Take a moment, expand through the heart, and then we're gonna step on that leg for a left foot lunge. Take a moment and then straighten the legs and bend. Breathe into your lunge. Feel that right hip flexor and quad. We'll take it to the side for your side lunge a couple of times back and forth. Come back to a right leg lunge, this time at a twist. Stack the shoulders, see if you can straighten the leg here and then bend and then drop the knee, grab for the back of the foot. See if you can do that deep quad stretch and then little gentle external rotation pressing through the inner thigh. Side to side, come back, twist. Now we're on the left leg forward. Straighten the leg and bend. Lower to the back knee. See if you can grab that foot, hug the heel in deep, so as and quad stretch. And then release that. And then a little external rotation, gently rolling out to the side of the foot, pressing the knee open, not at the knee though, at the hip. And then crawl it in for some cat cow. Head, chest, tailbone, lift and round, downward facing dog. So just for fun, we're gonna do some little jump tucks. Shoulders, everything should be nice and strong and warm. And then maybe you kick up to a little, either a tuck or a straight leg handstand. It doesn't have to be something you hold. You can just try to press. Use the fingertips as your break. Spread the fingers wide, push the shoulders down. Maybe you catch some hang time, maybe not. And then chaturanga, upward facing dog. Stay here, breathe, just open up through the back. The heart pushes forward, the shoulders roll back. Move a little bit here and then take a child's pose. Couple deep breaths here. Come on up, circle out the wrists, take the back of the hands down, take a chest expansion, any moves that feel good in your body here. Thanks for joining me. Let me know how it went. I'm literally dripping sweat. I'll see you next time.